But she adds, our Lord does not intend this martyrdom for those who are weak in love and perseverance. Such people he lets continue on their mediocre way, so they will not be lost to him. He never does violence to our free will. <coughs> this is empathy, the recognition that not everyone can achieve what is possible, and therefore the need to work with them, to take them where they're at, and to gradually work with them in terms of moving toward a more faithful discipleship. Now, every person has empathy towards those who are closest to them. But the challenge now is to rise from having empathy for a few to have the empathy for many. Our distracted society does not allow the time for the cultivation of reflection and imagination so that we can put ourselves into the shoes of others distant or different from ourselves, especially those who suffer most. And perhaps, and perhaps we want to protect our minds and hearts because empathy will move us to compassion and compassion will move us to conversion of mind and deed. Empathy makes us vulnerable. But empathy must be the way of the church today and most especially its ministers. Thank you for the chance to be with you today.